有没有？有没有？有没有？有没有？Welcome to this edition of Center Coast Bass Fishing Shows. Now, today I'm at a new lake, Anderson Lake. It's actually the biggest of all the lakes here in the area. Yesterday I tried another new lake called Chesbro and bombed. <laughs> I went all day and got one bite. But there's hope. A local showed up at the end, uh, right before dark, and I saw him catch five on the jerkbait. So, I got revenge on that lake because I spent all day with nothing, but I'm going to go back with a jerkbait someday maybe and film it. But today I'm here at Anderson. i uh, actually been here for a while, been shooting some drone footage. Uh, but this is a, a known bass lake. It's actually just down the valley from Coyote where I've been filming and catching a lot of fish. I know there's a lot of fish in here, so hopefully it will be a good day and actually this video will be produced and you will be able to watch it and I will catch a lot of bass. So uh, I'm going to head down there and see what happens. Hope you enjoy. Okay, first fish in a new lake. Way better than yesterday. Uh, it's all looks the same, so I'm just wandering, trying to look for something different. It's all steep here, but it looks like I don't know, it kind of drops off a little quick or something. But uh, threw out the little cut tail and caught this little guy. So hopefully that's the start. And I brought jerk baits because this water is like eight foot visibility, kind of like uh, Chesbro I was at yesterday, and that seemed to work. So maybe in the evening I'll start throwing some jerk baits around. But uh, right now I'm gonna get back to throwing around the drop shot, see if I can catch some more. At least fish in the new lake. Little guy, but it's fish number two. And I cast it in pretty much the same area as the last one, so I think I found at least one spot there's fish, even when they're little. But after six, no, eight hours yesterday, and eventually one little fish, this feels great. It's, it's like 1.30. I have hours to explore yet. All right, let me let this little guy go. Okay, update. Caught my third bass. This one was uh, flicking. Uh, kind of around the bend from the last place I caught him. Um, got a bee on my bass here um, it's getting really steep kind of hard to make this trail so I don't know how much further I can go but I've also got three other bites uh, one on our bobblehead skirted bobblehead and two others uh, lost my drop shot and I don't think I have any more with me so this bee is really having fun with this bass um, so eventually I will put on the uh, Okay, I've made it up to the point, going over a bunch of really raggedy, slippery rocks. And I get over here, and over here looks really good. The problem is, I moved this way and I only brought the one pole. So the rest of my stuff's back that way, <laughs> over all that stuff. But I really like what it looks like over here. So 
I'm gonna have to go back and get my stuff and bring it up here because I want to get over there. I really want to fish that point. It just looks too good. I'm a fisherman. I don't care if it's a hell of a trail. I'm gonna find my way to where there's better fish. So I'm gonna go back over all this stuff, get my stuff, bring it up here, and I'm probably gonna spend my time over here. And then I only have this little bit of ruggedness for when I go back, or maybe I'll, I'll fish on the way back. All right, I go get my stuff. Remember that point I said looked good? First cast with the skirted bobblehead with the uh, swim flip craw on it. Nailed it. So, um, it might be time to put on the hat cam. Wind's a little low. Uh, it's already like 3 o'clock. Got tons of batteries. I'm wearing it, so I might as well hook it up. But let me let this one go. Clear, clear water. All right, I'm gonna try the jerk bait. Oh, fish on! Oh ho ho ho! Yes! Dun 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 dun! Yes, yes, yes! Had a fish. Okay, I finally left that point. Worked it to death. Got one on the jig. Got uh, that one hit the jerk bait. Actually, had one hit the jerk bait, and come up and take it in and spit it really quick. Uh, when I first threw it out there, it was really cool in the clear water. I saw him come up, but he just went doop doop so quick I couldn't even set the hook. I'm further away from my car now, probably like a mile or more. Uh, I'll do some hat cam footage of uh, going back to this stuff because it's, it's some of it's pretty rugged, especially carrying poles in a tackle box. But I'm down here. There's a point to the right of me. Uh, I'm gonna give this a try for maybe like 30, 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna start heading back and fishing back towards the launch ramp and where my car is. All right, let's see what I can get here. Looks all just nothingness here. Just nothingness. And there's a lot of bait fish swimming by. A little teeny, only like an inch long or less. I think it might be shad. Little baby shad. Okay. Try to get down there. <sighs> Long walk for nothing. Fix this hook already. That's probably not good on the pole. Okay, I'm working my way back. And I keep talking about this trail. And if you look at it and you go, oh look. Why don't you just walk right down there next to the water? Well, if you walk down there, the stuff's like quicksand. <laughs> you sink in like a foot, it just sinks. So you have to walk up here on all this rock. And then uh, I'm gonna put the hat cam on for further up to show you because it's all like loose gravel and rock and really steep. And I gotta work my way back to that stuff. So I'm gonna fish this point first. Sorry, it's all update style, not many fish, but part of the fishing is the adventure, and this has been an adventure. Alright, I'm moving further down. This is the area that gets a little hectic. Little hectic. See all of this loose rock, which doesn't make it too fun. 
Well, we are just like popcorn rock. Whoa, slipping. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> not good. All right, still not easy. I think I'm going to fish on this rock though. Before I make the last of this kind of, got to go up right here and down. But then you're around the corner because there's a dam. And there's a flat spot. It gets a little better. But uh, that loose stuff scares me. standing right here. So boring right now. There's always fish at a launch ramp. It's not this launch ramp. <sighs> Oh my god, that was a hit. <laughs> I actually had a hit. Oh my god. One hit it and swam with it. I'll be damned. Alright, that's going to do it for this edition of Central Coast Bass Fishing Shows. Well, at least I caught four. And sorry it was kind of fish and then adventure. <laughs> but that's the way it ended up. Uh, almost had that one at the end. He was swimming with it. Don't know why I didn't hook him. But um, kind of, I mean, new lake, you never know. And it was, had to walk so far. And if I wouldn't have lost the drop shot and or had more drop shots that I could rehook up, probably would have caught more fish. Uh, next time I come here, there's actually a road before you come to the launch. You can get to the other side of the lake. It's, uh, there's a bridge that goes over it. So I might try over there. Um, at least four fish. Yesterday I went to a new lake and caught one little one ten minutes before I left. And I was there for like seven hours. So better than that, but you never know with a new lake. And you never know. Tomorrow this place might be great. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you join us for our next Santa Coast Bass Fishing Show. I gotta get myself out of here. And I got a long, steep launch to walk up. Heck yeah! Here we go!